Hey, what's good, BT gang? And we back with another banger, man. Thank y'all so much for tuning in once again. I'm BT, and welcome to BT Sense, man. So look, long story short, I had a subscriber. I'm not gonna give them, I'm not gonna put their name out there or anything. They did not want me to put their name out there. I was sitting here chilling watching Monday Night Raw. So I'm like, all right, you know. So I, they, they sent me some decans basically from Montaigne. It's a it's a very, very popular clone house. You know, a lot of people say they're even better than Alexandria, which is my favorite clone house. So I'm a, I'm trying them out and giving them a try. I'm sitting here watching Raw, and I smell some of these, and I'm like, let me hop on camera and, and talk about these. So I sprayed three of them already. I got three more to spray, but I got three sitting here that I already sprayed. Shout out to that subscriber as well, man. I appreciate y'all. But yeah, but this is... So I got six of them in total. The three that I sprayed is uh, Imaginary, Elysian Cologne, and Sislin Tobacco. So Imaginary, it's their Louis Vuitton Imagination Clone, and it's on this strip right here. And man, oh man, oh man. Man. You get all the green tea, you get the soapy feel, you get, I think it's in Broxen in this as well. But this, this is done perfectly. Like, this is perfect. Like, it's not... Like, I would say Alexandria's comparison to theirs... <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. Is Alexandria's is a bit sweeter and a bit denser because I think it isn't a straight. These are EDPs, I believe. But this is there. This is fresher. It smells just as good. It, it's... Man, this is good stuff, man. Like, what what's... We got two good clone houses right here in Alexandria and Montaigne. Why are you still buying the imagination? Like it's a designer sent us four hundred dollars, you know. But this this right here, bro, this is this is that work. Um, oh man, they get everything down. This is this soapy, it's clean, it's signature scent worthy. This this is done perfectly, man. Like I was I was taken to the moon when I first sprayed that one. But then we had to go on to the Elysian Cologne. Now, this is a Roger's, Roger Dove's Elysium. This is the regular one. And I have a dupe called Supernova from Dua. And I put my nose up to this one. These that are decants as well, y'all, by the way. Um, And this one, it's, it smells just like Dua's, except I feel like Dua is times 10. I feel like Dua is all up in your face. Like, it's, it's, it's almost ab abrasive. Like, it's almost like you have no choice but to smell it. Cause it's just so it's on a thousand. It's on steroids. Like do a boost their performance of everything they have. But this one, it, I think it's more natural smelling. It's more refined. It's laid back. It's smooth. So like, if you really, really like Roja Dove's Elysium, I think this is probably closer to it. Cause it, that, the Roja Dove's Elysium doesn't have abrasive in your face type performance. Do as does, because that's just what they do. But this, this, I think this is the closest Roja Dove Elysium clone, bro. This is so, man, this is so close. You get you get the vetiver, you get the current, you get the citrus on the top, you get the, it's some vanilla in here. It's just, you get every, the lime, like it's all here and it's smooth. It's so smooth. I can't speak on performance because I haven't worn these. I'm just smelling these on the strip. But man, the performance on this is just outrageous, bro. This is so fucking, this is so good. So good. I love the way this smells. So, the the third one I smelled, this is when I was like, all right, I got to hop on camera. When I smelled this one, I was like, I got to hop on camera, man. This one is Sislin Tobacco. Right here, Sislin Tobacco. Sislin Tobacco. And I sprayed this on a strip. This is Zerzoff Naxos. If you know Naxos, it's a king scent, like, I, it's my special occasion scent. scent. Whenever I'm going somewhere, special occasion, like awards, you know, promotion, anything, I'm wearing Naxos. And man, did they get this one. This, this one, I was like, bro, I got to go. I got to, I, I, I pressed the go on button on the camera and I was like, yo, we got to get out of here because, man, this is Naxos to a T. This, it has the honey, the tobacco. I think it's, I don't know if it's cinnamon in this or not, but it has a certain spice that might just be coming from the tobacco. But tobacco honey scent right here is sweet. It's unisex. Both people, like, both, anybody can wear this. Like, this just puts me in the CEO king mindset. Like, I'm I'm big time. Like, when I'm wearing this, I'm feeling myself. 
And this this has it. I would say this is a bit fresher. I think uh, Naxos is a bit more dense and warmer, but and it has a little bit more body. Like I was saying, like this sort of reminds me of Nijane Ani and Spectre Ghost, if y'all know that. Spectre Ghost has the smell of Ani, but I think Ani has the density down pack and uh and the I think the body. But this is this I'm not gonna say it's lacking the body because it does have body, but I think Naxos is way thicker. Like that honey and tobacco is thick, it's dense. This is a little bit lighter. Which could probably make it easier to pull off in warmer weather. I still wouldn't wear them in warm weather, but I think this will be easier to pull off than the OG Naxos in, I, I would say, semi-cool weather, you know. But, like, man. Wow. That's that's amazing right there. So, yeah, this is the jersey off Naxos. That's where we at in this video. I was just about to open up the E-Matcha. So, this is Leilabo's Matcha 26, I believe. E-Matcha right here. This is the one I really, really was excited about. I was about to cop this my own self with my own money, but my the sub looked out, and I really, really appreciate that. So, but let's read the notes off on this one. This is a like I said, Lalabo to Matcha Twenty Six. This is Fig Matcha Tea on the top. This is Cedar, Orange, and Vetiver in the base. So I had a person, a person in my personal life, a coworker actually, that wore this as their signature scent every day, and. You know, we were at, at a holiday party, the drinks were flowing. And I was like, yo, so what is that? What is that fragrance that you always wear? Like, what is that? And she told me, she was like, it was the Labo. And she said she had a sample set. And she was like, it was the matcha one. I think she mixed the matcha and the rose. But I think I was getting more hints of the matcha. I hope at least I was getting hints of the matcha. So I got Iu Matcha right here. This is, I have also have a Iu Santal from Montaigne as well, which is a Labo uh, Santal 33 dupe. But right now, we're about to try the matcha one out. I'm really, really excited. Let's see what we get from this, man. Let's see what we get from this. Okay, we got two good sprays on there. Oh, yeah, that, this is exactly what she, yep, this is really close. This is close. In the air, I'm, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is it. You, you get that matcha, this is that green tea on the top and some fig, a little bit of citrus in the body. This is it, man. This is it. This is so natural smelling. It's, it's, it's hippie like. You see, La Labo does a good job with their DNAs with uh, natural scents. This is a green, natural, hippie like scent, and it's so good, man. This is good stuff. This is really good, bro. I don't know, though. Like, you could probably wear this in high heat, but would I? I don't know. Because it's a, it's a little sweet. Like, it's a little... I don't know if that's coming from the tea or what. I'm definitely getting a full bottle of this, though. This is nice. It's just like... If you ever smell matcha tea, man, it's literally matcha with some fruit components behind it. It just makes it fruity and vibrant and bright. I love this a lot, bro. This is nice. As it dries down, I'm getting more and more of that citrus. Wow, is that is it? Is this? It's an orange. It's an orange. It's it's nice. I, I do think you can wear this in high heat. Now that I say that, I love it. I love it. The, the all four of these scents so far have been like ten out of tens, bro. Like the quality is just man, like Montaigne. Alexander, you're my goat, but Montaigne is creeping, man. Holy cow. I cannot stop smelling this one. Wow. I, yeah, I'm taken back by this one, man. But yeah, these, we got two more to go, y'all. And we're going to check out the dry down of all of these. So we got Parfum, Parfum de Cerise. This is a Tom Ford Lost Cherry dude. Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Funny story about this one. I actually, um... My coworker was looking for a Lost Cherry dupe. They had they had the little decan of Tom Ford. They were like, it's so expensive. I can't afford it. It doesn't last long. You got anything for me? I pointed them right towards Alexandra. It was like, I don't know what it's called. I don't. It's called something cherry. But they like that one. They wore that one a lot. And so I am familiar with this one. So in the top, we got cherry, almond, and rose. And then in the mid, we got gardena, jasmine, pistachio, and a syrup, something, G griot syrup. And base notes, we got sandalwood, cedarwood, vetiver, gayak wood, tonka, vanilla, and balsam. So let's go ahead and try this one out, man. These things smell so good. It's like they're 
They're so natural smelling. Like Montaigne is just their ingredients seem so natural. Like it's weird. Like it's I don't know. Like Alexander uses good ingredients as well. I feel like maybe they don't, but this I'm not gonna lie. It's coming off more top tier quality than even that Alexandria fragrance. It's coming off way like the quality. I think is way better than these. Like I'm de- I'm being honest. Like I and y'all know I'm an Alexandria guy through thick and thin, bro. But the quality on these so far are just like man. Like what? Did, how do they do this? You know. But let's see what how close this is to Lost Cherry. I haven't smelled the the, uh, the OG, but like I said, my coworker wore the Alexandria dupe all the time, so I pretty much know. I, I'm supposed to get like a powdery rose cherry like smell. Wow. Wow. Dare I say, y'all? Like I'm not even trying to. I'm not sponsored or anything. I'm not lying to y'all. Why, why does this, why does this smell better than the Alexandria? What? Wow. Wow. Like, I, I, that's, like, I hope we should start a wild counter for this video. Cause like, it's like a, it's like, it's, I don't want to sound weird, but it's like a syrupy cherry that with some powder behind it. It's some it's sweet vanillic with an almond nuttiness. Like it's just like it's it's. I don't want to say it's gourmand, but it's just it, it smells so good and like edible. So I, I guess it would be a gourmand, but I don't think it's a gourmand. But it's just it smells so good, man. It's 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 playing mind game because it's just so syrupy and sweet that it gives you that dessert type feel. Man. I didn't consider myself a Lost Cherry fan. I'm not going to lie, but this might do it for me. Holy man, this is wow. Yo. Like, hold on, bro. This 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 the one. I'm trying to make sure I'm smelling the right fragrance cuz this this smells This smells way better than Alexander one in my opinion. It doesn't even smell like the same fragrance. Okay. That's that's amazing. We got to come back. So before we get to the last one, y'all, let's go back through the dry downs. Let's see what uh, Imaginary is doing. Still doing this thing. Same thing. The soapy cleanness. The T-note in here is outstanding. Oh, man. Montaigne. Montaigne, man. See, a house like them is dangerous because they have so many, they have so many things that I feel like are gonna be good. I'm not gonna lie. Lysian. Okay. See, me personally, I probably would go with Supernova from Dua instead of this one. It smells great. It's just that it's not strong off the strip. That's the only thing, which is probably more realistic to the real Elysium, if I'm being honest, because this is probably more natural. But for me personally, the dual one projects, and that's what I like. But this, as far as the smell goes, it smells great. If you don't want a lot of people, if you want to be all up in people's face, this is probably gonna be better for you, most definitely. But for me, I'm a, I'm a overspraying like life in a party type of person, so I want my things to project. But this, it smells fantastic. And I say I might prefer the supernova, but then as I keep smelling this, I'm like, dang, this smells so much more natural and better. Oh, man, I'm so conflicted right now. I'm so I feel like I'm turning my back on Alexandria as we speak. I guess everybody thought I was getting paid by Alexandria. Now they know I'm not. Man, this and then this Sicilian and tobacco. Man, the Naxos one was is outrageous. The tobacco and honey just shining through. This matcha one has my heart. It, it has my heart, man. It has my heart. I love this matcha one. It, the orange is really shining through now. I think the matcha is kind of leaving, but the orange is still there and the matcha is hanging right behind slightly. And the back to the cherry. Yo, this, wow. Montaigne. Montaigne. So we got one more left. This one is the last one. This is Toriano 2021. So I guess this is supposed to be their Toriano 21. I've never smelled this DNA at all whatsoever. Yeah, this is Jerzov's Toriano 21. Never smelled the, the original. This has mint, lemon, basil, thyme, rosemary, black currant, and lavender. 
and it has lusk and lemon verbena in the base. So let's go ahead and uh, I like there's no substitutes for anything. They use all, it seems like they're using all natural stuff, man. It's just great. It's just dope. This is Toriano 2021, y'all. Two good sprays, man. I, I, I'm really, really excited to see what this smells like. Because I was thinking about copping this or uh, 40 Knots from Jerry's Off as well. So I already got the Renaissance, and I love Renaissance. So we're going to see how this compares to that. But, man, this Montaigne Hall is crazy. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm getting it. It seems like it has that same minty feel that Renaissance has off the opening. That same minty jelly bean candy-like feel. I don't, it's, it smells, it reminds me of Renaissance. Black current is shining through, for sure, for sure. It's, I would say this is less candy than Renaissance. I say Renaissance is way more mint candy-like. This is more berry, it's like clean, it's musky. But they are similar though, man. They are really similar. I don't even know which one I prefer. This is so good, bro. All of these are so good. Wow. I don't even know what to say, man. Like, it's too soon to tell. Look, I don't want to come out here and say that Montaigne might be better now than Alexandria. You know, I don't want to just come out here and do that, like, and just flips, you know. But, man, the way this stuff smelled and how natural it was and just the quality overall, man, like, it's it might be a 1A, 1B type situation. I'm not going to say they're better than Alexandria, but I'm going to say, man, they, it's like that. Because the, the quality on these decants all of these smells, I'm going to do full wearings. I'm going to do full reviews for all of these like I do all my other fragrances. I just wanted to get these out to y'all and get these on y'all radar and just honestly smell them because I'm just like a kid on Christmas when this came through. I was ripping through the package. I'm like, you know what I mean? But this, the, the all of these fragrances smell phenomenal. I would say my personal favorite is the matcha one because that's probably the one I was looking the most, uh, most forward to. And I've been smelling it on my coworker. I'm like, I need it, I need it, I need it. You know, but all of these are amazing. All of these are amazing. I really, really appreciate y'all for, you know, supporting me and doing this for me, man. Y'all really didn't have to do this, but that's that's the video, man. Like, Montaigne is, is on my radar now. I am not blocking out the nose, it, the nose, the noise any longer. I'm going to entertain this this uh, conversation. And, yeah, they, they, I'm here now. So, Montaigne, <laughs> here's my wallet. <laughs> I might as well say the same thing, but, man. I appreciate y'all for watching. If y'all got any of these, comment down below and let me know what y'all think of these as well. Also, if y'all have the OG DNAs, don't be afraid to comment down below as well. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. Peace.